Okay, students, so here is um, a Google Classroom where I am a student. I've opened it up. It's just called Testing123. There's my assignment. I'm going to go ahead and click on Classwork, and that shows me a list of all my assignments and any topics that they're in. I highly recommend using the Classwork tab when looking for Classwork. Um, so here's a very simple assignment. Whatever the assignment is, I'm being asked to upload a photo of my work. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and tap that assignment. That opens up the assignment and shows me any instructions that are tied to that assignment, any links that are tied to that assignment, and I would be able to click those. What we're looking for down here at the bottom is that your work section. I'm going to go ahead and tap that upward arrow looking icon there. Here is where I can add attachments, mark as done, or add a private comment, send that to my teacher. What I'm going to do uh, right now is add an attachment. I'm gonna tap Add Attachment. It allows me a lot of different options. I can create a brand new Google Doc, or slides, or sheets, or a PDF. That's an interesting one. I guess you create a PDF and upload it? Sure, why not? I'm more familiar with the Doc Slides and Sheets. You could record a video from your phone, you can take a photo from your phone or upload a file that is already on your phone or attach something that is in your Google Drive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a photo of my keyboard. And the reason I'm doing this, let me try to get the, well, shadows are horrible, but that's okay. I'm going to go sideways. I am going to take a picture of my very dirty keyboard. I'm going to give that the go ahead. It's going to go ahead and upload that. Takes a second, probably because of the resolution of my camera. Um, you know, it's uploading a rather large photo. So there it is. I've attached a photo of my work and I'm going to turn it in. In my next video, I'm going to show you what happens when a teacher opens up my work and adds comments. Um, I'm going to show you how to find those comments and reply to them if necessary, all here on a mobile device.